Okay, uh, the other day I made a video about Talon, and I discovered something else for dictating uh, into multiple languages, which is called whispering. So whispering is on GitHub. You get it here. It's basically uh, an open source thing, and it works like this. So this is a, a Dutch English patent I found online somewhere, just as an example. When you start whispering, it, it opens this little thing, and then the shortcut is uh, for now is Control Shift semicolon. So you press that to start and press that to stop. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to press it now, and then I'll start dictating. Instead of pre-cut labels, use can be made of cutting means and or punching means in a labeling station. Perfect. Except for the and or. And amazingly, I've noticed that uh, whispering adds punctuation. If you, When I paused, it actually added a comma, which we don't want. However, the crazy thing is, try other languages. So I'm going to press Control Shift semicolon and dictate in Dutch. In plaats van voorgesneden labels kan gebruik worden gemaakt van snijmiddelen en of standsmiddelen in een labelstation. The en of missed it. Everything else, absolutely perfect. This is crazy. Uh, try uh, some English. So I'll press Control Shift semicolon. These known methods have the advantage that it is possible to work automatically. Deze bekende werkwijzen hebben als voordeel dat automatisch kan worden gewerkt. However, a disadvantage is that the labels must be individually picked up and moved inside the mold with the aid of robots, which delays the production cycles. It's processing. Nadeel is evenwel dat the labels individueel dienen te worden opgenomen en verplaatst naar binnen de matrijs met behulp van robots, hetgeen de productiecycli vertraagt. It's processing. So it, it actually corrected that. Um, but it's basically perfect, which is pretty crazy. So whispering.